The phone went dead silent when he was talking to me, so there was an automatic uh, assumption of worst case scenario. BX Swan Lake Fire Chief Bill Wallacey had been speaking with one of his volunteer members, who was up on this road scouting out what was supposed to be a lightning caused blaze. But in fact, it was a bonfire at a bush party that was quickly being deserted by the party goers. There was a loud uh, shouting and hollering going on and then uh, a truck come down around the corner with uh, full speed and couldn't go any further because the road was blocked by our fire trucks. I'm standing just a few hundred feet from Hartnell Road and behind me is the dirt road that leads to a well-known party spot. The same road where a driver of an F-150 came careening down hitting a firefighter. If the driver was uh, under the influence, appeared to be under the influence, uh, the 26-year-old man has since been released from custody, expected to appear in court later in August and expected to face charges in relation to impaired driving. While the fire crews were following protocol as to attending a bushfire, due to the circumstances following this incident, changes must be made. Uh, there will definitely have a difference. We're sitting down. It's a WCB issue, so we will be sitting down doing a, an accident investigation and then we'll uh, go from there and come up with recommendations for our own protocol and procedures. First responders put their lives at risk each time they attend an incident, especially a bushfire. Yet any time one of their own is injured, it rattles the entire industry. We all know what the possible dangers can be in the event of, and it's usually uh, uh, unassuming accidents that, that occur that uh, sometimes can have the tragic results. So there was quite the shock more than anything else that something as innocent as this turned out to be as potentially dangerous as it could have been. The firefighter was taken to hospital but shortly released and is recovering from minor injuries. Jen Zielinski and Vernon for Castanet News.